WTBF 25 News at Noon starts with breaking news. We are staying on top of breaking news out of Riviera Beach. The Palm Beach County District School District says a man was shot in the parking lot of Suncoast High School, prompting the school to go on lockdown. FDLE confirming that an officer was involved in the shooting, though it is unclear just how right now. Good afternoon. I'm Tiffany Kenny and I'm Stephen Graves. Thanks for joining us for WPBF 25 News at Noon. The school district tells us all students and staff at the school are unharmed and safe. Take a look at this photo from the scene. You can see one person on the ground, another person standing up there pointing a gun. We have live team coverage of the details of what we know about the shooting. We are going to start with morning anchor Nathalie Pozo leading our coverage at Suncoast. Nathalie, police still there on the scene? Tiffany Steven, it is still very much an active scene out here this afternoon at Suncoast Community High School. Now we do want to say that no students, no staff were hurt. We know there is no threat to students or staff. All of the students are OK. Now all of this unfolded at 730 this morning. And as you can see here, police are still on the scene and will likely be here conducting their investigation for quite some time. We have the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office here. We have Riviera Beach Police and other agencies as well. In the distance, you could see the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Mobile Command Center. You could see that we have some red tape and then we also have some yellow caution tape along with several officers there. So again, they will likely be out here for quite some time conducting their investigation. We have reporters covering this story, live team coverage this afternoon. We do want to start with our Angela Rozier breaking down what we know so far. Angela. And Nathalie, we have been reaching out to the Palm Beach County School District, Riviera Beach Police, waiting to see if there will be some type of news conference or any update. Not now we haven't heard anything as of yet, but what we do know is this. You can look at some of the video we shot here earlier at the scene today. This is what that scene looked like near the campus and around the campus here at Suncoast Community High School. Now, according to the school district officials, the shooting took place during school arrival time inside the parking lot here. We're told the incident involved an unknown adult male and a police officer. No students, as you say, or staff members were harmed. The school was immediately placed on lockdown, full lockdown, we're told. Nearby campuses, including um, Dr. McLeod Bethune Elementary, Lincoln Elementary, and JFK Middle School also placed on a limited lockdown with limited movement. Now, once that scene was secure, the district got the all clear and the school day continued with regular instruction. Now, parents were told that they could pick up their students and take them home for the rest of the day. But you can see here, we've been seeing parents showing up periodically, picking up their students, taking them home. Again, several agencies working this case and as soon as we get any updates we'll let you know. Nathalie. Angela, thank you so much. Like Angela mentioned, there was a line of cars here, parents waiting to pick up their children. We spoke with one of them, of course, terrifying moments for them when they received those phone calls from their children, letting them know, though, that they were OK. We do want to continue our live team coverage this afternoon with our Caleb Califano. He's on the other side of the school from where I am. And Caleb, we have been checking in with each other because I saw a line of cars here since at least nine o'clock this morning, parents trying to pick up their children. Within the last few minutes, we saw that line uh, disappear. How's it looking over where you are? And Natalie, that's right. I would say within the past five minutes, that line has completely cleared. To give context, we're on Avenue S, right at the bus loop near the entrance of the school. I'm going to pan over this way, and you can see right past this gate, this is the last little bit of parent pickup lines. But if we can pull up that video from earlier this morning, it painted a much different story for around three hours, the lines going both ways here on Avenue S stretched for a long ways with many parents coming to pick up their students, just trying to figure out what exactly was going on, especially heading this way right behind me. This stretched all the way back to Blue Heron Boulevard and caused some traffic backups there as well. This was a delicate process with Riviera Beach Police Department trying to, you know, move people into the bus loop here. They didn't want to crowd it up too much, so they had to come show their ID and then those students got picked up. So it was a complicated process. Obviously, a lot of parents and guardians made their way here panicked at first, but they had this area organized. It was calm and now they have finally calmed down. There's no traffic line here at all. But of course, throughout this morning, we've talked to a number of parents, many of them worried about their student safety. Josie Carboneri has more on that. 
Well, Caleb, I spoke to a handful of parents and they were terrified in line waiting to pick up those students who were calling them from inside the building, explaining what they were experiencing. One mother telling me that her daughter ended up calling her, telling her that she was hiding underneath the table during that code red lockdown, which initially uh, it was a code red. Then it went down to a code yellow. Now, the Palm Beach County School District, they did confirm just as school started, there was a shooting involving an unknown adult male mail, adding no students or staff were harmed in the incident, which started as a code red, as I mentioned before, a full lockdown and then later downgraded to a code yellow once the suspect was apprehended and taken to the hospital. Now we saw multiple agencies out here, including Riviera Beach Police and Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office. Nearby schools were also placed on a temporary lockdown, limiting movement as a precaution. And around 830 this morning, parents were notified by phone, a message from the district telling them an incident had occurred. Many of those parents sharing that moment students telling us they feel safety measures should be looked at he called me he was in the in the bathroom with some friends and he said he, they were you know waiting for some news but there was a shooter outside at the start of the school day there's a massive line of all the kids just like bunched up anybody can get there at any point Now, to be clear, there are metal detectors at the high school here. We are told that school will continue throughout the day as usual now that everything is under control. Reporting live from Riviera Beach, I'm Josie Carbonari, WPBF 25 News. Josie, thank you so much. We continue our live team coverage this afternoon with our Terry Parker. She is live at City Hall. And Terry, you spoke with city leaders, including one council member who rushed over to the high school here when he heard what was going on. Natalie, that's exactly right. Uh, City Council Chair Doug Lawson came to meet me here at Riviera Beach City Hall just about an hour ago. He says he was called by the police chief first thing this morning to be updated on this shooting that was happening at Suncoast High School. Lawson tells me that he was also receiving lots of panicked calls from parents, so he decided to rush over to the school himself and find out what was going on. To his relief, police already had a suspect in custody, and the female police officer involved was sent to the hospital to be checked out. Phone rang 7 a.m. for my chief, and it was just like, you know, you never want to see that call from your police chief at that early in the morning. It's completely nerve wracking. I was getting calls from uh, parents from the minute chief called me minutes after I was getting calls just trying to figure out what's going on so I just decided to head over there to figure out what was actually happening on campus talk to some of the staff talk to our city manager and our police chief and uh, they said they had it contained so Riviera Beach quickly contained the, the, the situation it was a code red when it first happened but essentially they were able to contain what happened Lawson did not want to comment on the record about what the police chief told him had happened. I do know from my reporting that the officer is a Riviera Beach police officer assigned to the school to help the school district, which has shortages in its own police force. And I have been told that that female officer has been now discharged from the hospital with minor wounds uh, or, or whatever was wrong with her. We did not have that confirmed, but we will have much more in this situation. Right now, we're waiting for police chief Michael Coleman to uh, give us more of those details. Reporting live from Riviera Beach, I'm Terry Parker. Natalie, back to you. Terry, thank you so much for that report. Like we said, we know at least one person was taken to the hospital. We continue our live team coverage this afternoon with our Suji Nam. She is live at St. Mary's Medical Center, about three miles away from the high school. Suji, what are you seeing there? Nathalie, I'm standing outside the entrance of St. Mary's Medical Center here in West Palm Beach. And earlier this morning, we saw several law enforcement agencies, including West Palm Beach Police, Riviera Beach Police, as well as Palm Beach Gardens Police officers in the area by the emergency room, as well as FDLE officials at St. Mary's Medical walking in and out of the emergency room. Provided that St. Mary's Medical Center is the one of two hospitals that have trauma centers in the entire Palm Beach County and with the proximity of the hospital to the site of the shooting. We wanted to investigate further to see if anything was developing at the hospital here. Again, we did see several law enforcement officials from West Palm Beach Police, as well as Rivera Beach and the FDLE out by the emergency room and no word yet on the specific conditions of those involved in that shooting just yet. But we, of course, will continue to keep you updated as we learn more. Nathalie, back to you.
Suji Nam reporting live at St. Mary's Medical Center for us this afternoon. Suji, thank you. So back live out here at the scene again, we expect police to be here conducting their investigation for quite some time. Still a lot of unanswered questions at this time that we are hoping to get uh, confirmed and, and ask those questions to officials as the day goes on. And again, they continue their investigation. But here again, you're just th thought about those parents this morning and those students who got that code red lockdown, meaning that with the the definition of what code red is meaning that students had to hide in place and what those students and parents must have been feeling at that time. You think of what's going on across our country when it comes to schools and shooting and their mind probably went to a lot of places that they didn't want to. But again, so many parents here say they wanted to come pick up their child, make sure they were OK, take them out of what they said was a traumatic experience and just hug them as they were getting out of school here. That is the very latest reporting live in Riviera Beach. We'll send it back over to Stephen and Tiffany. And we understand how those parents feel. Nathalie, thank you so much for your reporting and for your anchoring out there this afternoon. And we're continuing to ask questions from the school district about what exactly happened in that parking lot. Our team coverage continues at 1230. We'll have the latest then. Well, turning to your